Good morning. Welcome to Off Grid North Idaho. Please like this video and subscribe to the channel so that you can see all our new videos. Today we're going to be playing with a 100 watt solar panel kit. We picked this up from Harbor Freight. We actually use a few of these around here for different isolated systems, but this one's all mine. Now we're going to go over this control controller and what the different screen options mean and how you can utilize this to fine tune things for you and to see how your power is. So we're going to zoom in here. So you remember this is where our solar input is coming in. This is the power coming in from our panels. Down here, these are going out to the battery. This button on top has a light bulb next to it. This is your load button. This is basically an on off button for anything that's going to be running off of your controller. So right now you'll notice the first little picture is your solar panels. There's an arrow, black arrow pointing to a battery and it looks like it's filling up, which is exactly what's happening. Our solar panels are connected and they are filling up our battery. Currently our battery has 12.1 volts that it's holding in there and we're trying to fill that up higher. Then you'll notice there is no arrow between the battery and the little picture on the screen of a light bulb because I've got the load turned off. I did have the light bulb plugged in, but even if I had it plugged in right now, with there not being an arrow there, it would not work, it would not light up. But when I press this load button, the orange button, now you see that we've got the black arrow. So that means that this little controller is now sending power to these plugins. You've got three of these 12 volt DC plugins, and then you've got a couple of USB plugins. You can also direct wire something in on the bottom of this if you're so inclined. And so when you've got your black arrow from your battery to your light bulb picture on your screen, that means that your load plugins are live. And then you can turn it back off again. It's just an on and off. So that's off because there's no black arrow. That is on because there is a black arrow. This lower button has a picture, it looks like of a rectangle next to it, and this is your display button. You've got five different screens you can see here that give you information, and you can cycle through them. This first one that comes up with your panels, your battery, and then the light bulb picture is your normal indicator screen. It's telling you what's connected, what's happening, and how many volts are stored currently in your battery. When you hit it again, when you press it to go to your second screen, this is what we call a boost. This actually is not just a display change, it's changing what's happening, right? So now you've got no light bulb picture. You're not sending anything to your load plugins. All of the juice is gonna go into that battery and it wants to get up to 14.4 volts. That's preset as your maximum charge on your battery. And there are ways to change all of that. I'm not doing it. But, so this is sending all of my juice as hard and fast as it can to this battery, which I like because I want my battery to be fully charged. I can change to my next display and function. And this is called a float. You need, notice that on this one, your battery picture is completely filled up. It's got all the bars. This would be the status that it would automatically change into once you get to about 13.8 volts then it'll just send a medium surge of electricity to keep it topped off. Here you see this next one shows an empty battery. There's no bars in there. Your battery is empty and you show a light bulb, but there's no connection. And it says 10.8 volts. This tells you that the controller is set that if your battery gets down to 10.8 volts, it's empty. That's no good. It's not even gonna try to light up your light bulb or push power to your accessories. So that's what that is set preset for to be your lowest setting on your battery. And again, you can modify that. I like the presets. Cut. Okay, so we're in this screen that is showing that the battery is depleted down to or down below our 10.8 volts and that that is uh, not enough to do anything with. The next display and the next function is a recovery function. It shows that it is trying to get the battery recharged up to 12.6 volts before it can start doing another load. And you can go ahead, this is another preset that you can change. 
and but this is shows that it's in a recovery mode. The instructions say minimum battery voltage for normal charging can resume. So I don't completely understand how or when this display comes up. If it's something that you're setting, I suspect it's something that's going to automatically display. So, but when we look back here, now we'll cycle back again. This is our normal display setting. It shows our solar panels pushing power into our battery. Our battery is pushing power to our output connectors here. And that's because it's set on the on position. If I wanted to turn this off, I could turn my press my load button once and it would toggle. So it's just not sending anything to these outputs. I could press it again to turn it on. And that's the basics of how this works. We'll go through some more of these later. There's a couple of other advanced features that actually might be useful. So I'll be practicing with those. And check in with us tomorrow because either tomorrow or the next day, we're going to be trying to hook this up to some different loads. One of the things I want to try to hook this up to is an electric fence charger. I have an old one that is a plug-in type, so I'll need an inverter to change it from DC power to AC power. But I think it's going to work for me. And then I have a little heating pad for baby chicks that I also want to try plugging in. And it's also AC power, like what you plug in your wall in a normal house. So I'll have to use an inverter for that. So check in tomorrow to see how we use inverters with my little Harbor Freight panel. But I'm really happy with this. I'm going to go get them set up so they're facing south and actually getting some decent light. Remember to subscribe. There's a subscribe button below. Get, hit that bell so you get notified of every new video. And thank you for joining us here at Off Grid North Idaho.